Uh, I want to give a special shout out to a special group of people, the Children's Home Network of Tampa. My name is Coach J.R. Allen. I'm the head men's basketball coach at Steinbrenner High School. I've got one of my assistants here today with me, Jordan Morgan. Jordan, say hello to the Children's Home Network. Hey guys, I'm Coach Mo. I'm an assistant here with the, the Steinbrenner Basketball Boys team. Hey, okay, it's MLK Day. And uh, just give back to the community just because, like, you know, that he paid it forward. So we want to do the same as well. And so we just want to take a little time and give back to you guys. So um, that's all I have for you, Coach. What we're now going to show you is a series of drills that we have our guys do when we want to work on and improve our ball handling. Ball handling is a very basic skill in the game of basketball. It's an important skill that should not be neglected. You should try to spend time on it every day. But before you even do anything like that, you probably should. Make sure you want to stretch. You, stretch is key. It prevents a lot of injury and also extends your playing career as well. Stretching is important. Before you do anything, make sure that body is ready to go. You're going to make mistakes. Understand that you're going to go into this and it's not going to be perfect every time. Life hasn't really been that perfect for all of us this last few uh, few months and going back almost a year now. It's been some challenging time. These drills will challenge you. Yeah, you're gonna make mistakes, but just remember, the setback is just the setup for the comeback. Alright, so we got a little uh, ball handling warm up drill right here. What we're going to do is our players are going to take the basketball and around their right leg, they're going to choose a direction to start with. They're going to go around that leg 10 times. After they complete the 10th circle, they're going to change directions and go the other way 10 times. What you do one direction, you want to be very good doing it the other direction. Let's watch our guys. Head up, head up. Good. 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 After you work one side of the, of the body, you obviously want to be able to do the same thing. So you would go to your left leg now, and it's the same exact thing. You take 10 circles in one direction, whichever one you want to start with. After the 10th circle, go the other direction. Thing to remember, make sure you stay athletic, keep your head up, keep the ball on your fingertips. Let's watch the guy. After you do single leg, the next pattern that you can try to execute is what we call a figure eight. Same thing, you want to be athletic. What you want to do is take 10 turns with the ball coming over the top of your body. Do 10 that way, and then when you finish, reverse it and go 10 behind your body. So whatever direction you start, just make sure you go opposite after 10. Let's watch the guy. After you do those things stationary, now the next challenge is to get you doing those same drills while you're in motion. So we're going to have our guys do the same exact thing. Again, you decide which direction you want to start. Um, when you're in motion, you keep the ball around one leg, head up, keep the ball on your fingertips, control the basketball. Just watch the guys. And then consequently, just like you did earlier, where you switch from right leg to left leg, we're going to do the same exact thing. After you do a repetition of coming down with your right leg, you're going to do the same exact thing on the left leg. Let's watch the guy. The next challenge is once you've done both legs, you now want to put the figure eight move into uh, motion and take that full court as well. Let's watch the guy. Now, the 
the next challenge is after you've done all of those moves without actually letting the ball touch the ground, you're going to incorporate a dribble. So what the guys are going to demonstrate now is doing the same thing that they started with, where they still do two circle around their leg, and then after the second circle, involve a dribble and proceed uh, in motion while you're going full court. Let's watch the guy. Remember, everything you do on one leg, you want to be just as good on the other leg. So we're going to do the same exact drill. Left leg, you're going to go two circles and involve a dribble after that. Watch the guy. To those viewing, um, I really appreciate you tuning in. I mean, we run these videos every day during practices, it helps us before games, it really gets our dribbles right. I mean, it helps with pull ups, helps here and there, helps you get by your bite or your fender. I mean, we run this and it'll seriously improve your game. This video is going to be like one of those things where you just can't do it one time. you got to keep consistent with it. It's going to feel uncomfortable at first, but you just got to keep doing it. And that's going to really go set your game up. Keep working at it. Don't give up. It's all about heart. Just put in the time, put in the effort. It'll come out. It'll shut.